What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the Mom and Son Show. I'm the mom. And I'm the son. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're wondering where Monday's video was, we took it down. Yeah. Did you like that black screen? There was a black videos? screen there. My girlfriend told me that, hey, we forgot to put the slideshow up. So because we do everything professionally and we like it perfect and mom takes so time on these slideshows, we're doing it again, but we added more things. So don't think you have to turn it off. We added why you should do the marathon. Um, so stay tuned. We're going to jump right into it now. Let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so what do you think of when you look at that? When you look at this, yeah. I think of the goofy and dopey challenge. <laughs> and so the marathon weekend for 2024 is coming up. Uh, the registration was open April 4th for uh, club run Disney members, and it opened up April 11th to uh, the general public. Um, what was interesting is the different races that are available. The, so you got the the 5K, the 10K, the half. Why is that interesting? That's every year. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's every year. I don't anyway, know if that's interesting anyway, this year. <laughs> so so the early entry, the early registration is available if you were a club run Disney member. So in order to be a Disney member, the silver package includes what you see on the board here, welcome kit, the jacket, the magnet, membership card, virtual 10K medal. But it does not give you the opportunity to register early. So even if you have this silver membership, it's not going to get you that opportunity. Or this doesn't get you to run either. This no, you, guys, you still no. have to buy another thing to run. This is just right. for a jacket and a medal. You have to pay two seventy four. So that, if you want to, you can pay me two fifty. I'll send you a dang magnet, a jacket, and a medal. But it won't say Disney anyway. I'll um, put, <laughs> trust me, I'll put Disney on it. So then the gold level at six hundred and nineteen dollars. It gives you everything from the silver, but it does give you that one race opportunity to register for one race. But you still have to pay for it. You still have to pay for that race. And then it gives you entry into the Club Disney Expo, which you said is a really awesome... It's very awesome... cool, but you don't need this just to get into right. the Expo. So if you are registered, please go into the Expo. It's fantastic. The upper level of this membership is the Platinum at a mere $959. You get everything that we mentioned before, but this time you get two chances to register for races and it also gives you an updated corral placement for the run which you as a runner said it's definitely makes a difference yeah if you have a slower time this is awesome because it pushes you up they they do it by corral so the slower times generally or the newer runners generally go to the back so you don't have as much time to finish if you are a slow runner this will push you up a little bit so you don't have to do that 16 minute pace i think is the minimum so it's, it's a little bit nicer. So the slower runners probably might benefit from this. Okay. So if any of you are run Disney members, let us know if it really benefits you um, because we're not yeah. runners. So we wouldn't know that. I used to be. You used to be. Yeah. Then you got lazy. So obviously with the 5K next year, it's going to be $107.99. But guess what? It sold out. But... You can still have the opportunity to run it because they now have the virtual races. A while back, they started virtual races, virtual running. Um, so instead of that price, you can pay $85 and run it. To run at your house. Fantastic. To run at your house. Run around the block. Um, our development is a mile. So if you wanted to do... Three laps. Yeah, yeah three laps. Six laps. And then, you know, all the way up. Every single um, area, every single race that's offered at the... The resort is also offered in a virtual setting. And the okay. dopey, so the dopey challenge is all four races in four days. Uh, that's what the dopey challenge is. It's very expensive. It's very hard to do. It is quite an achievement because you have to be a dope to be running a 5K, 10K, <laughs> half, mi half marathon, and then marathon at the end. Uh, I have a couple friends doing it this year. Mm -hmm. They're stoked about it. It's very expensive, but when you have that accomplishment, uh, it's very cool to see all the medals lined up mm -hmm. on your mm -hmm. chest. And they're very heavy from what they I understand. They are very heavy. <laughs> very heavy. Okay. So what if oh, you Oh, but you what, can also what? do the virtual Goofy or Dopey by yourself yeah. for $511. <laughs> But you get the medal. Woo! You let's get all the medals. Go. I know people during COVID that actually yeah. uh, did the marathon or the dopey yeah. challenge from your house. Where those were different circumstances, so it was an accomplishment. But doing it at home is nothing like it's better to pay the extra money to go to the marathon or to go to Disney. To go and to Disney, and we're going to figure out why. Why? What do you miss if you run virtually? Man. Okay. So one of the things you miss are stats. What do you mean by that? Yeah. So. 
when I did it back in the day, this is me on the top. These are my stats. Um, you get, you can actually be tracked by your family members while you're there as well. Which we um, did. Which is very, right. very cool. But you get your five mile split, your 10 mile, the half marathon, the marathon. This is just a marathon. You also see all your stats for all the single races or for every single race that you do. So it's very cool. Um, and it will always be in the Disney history as well. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Um, the medals are mailed to you. And this is from last year or this current year, January 2023. Um, so if you don't mind waiting for them, then you can get them in the mail. Or you get them at the end of every race uh, when uh, I did the uh, Dopey. I only uh -huh. ran the marathon, but you get them at every single race. Um, and then you put them at the end on Sunday. Very cool pictures. So then the scene, you'll miss the scenic route with all of the photo ops. You get to get to pictures with rarely seen characters to take away your pain. I mean, your fun while you're running. <laughs> And Chris is, will explain some of these pictures that you never get to see. This was the coolest thing because I didn't train very much for this marathon. Um, however, it seemed like every mile um, after the first three miles, because you're leaving from Epcot trying to get to Magic Kingdom to your first spot, they have characters out there. And the lines go pretty quick. You think they're long, but they, they really go in, go out. It's a nice little break if you haven't trained very long. Um, or if you have. I didn't really care if I didn't train very long because... Mm -hmm. Those characters you really don't see out very often, like the Gravemen, um, uh, the Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland, Sebastian. You just take a picture with them, and then you have great photos uh, of when you're done with your marathon. I don't know of any other marathon that has this many photos, uh, or at least with characters. The one thing that I noticed right away is, where are the people? That looks like when I went to the park during, during COVID. During COVID, <laughs> yeah. There's no, I mean, and, and this shot especially, they had probably eight different photographers so because this is the one shot that everybody wants when you are running so they made sure there were no lines you just went to one of the photographers and then kept going it was mm -hmm. it was amazing and it's at every single park in the back lots too where you think it might be a little mm -hmm. um where you think it might be a little boring mm -hmm. like that's where that car's picture was that was in one of the parking lots of magic kingdom where you're just running through the parking lot and oh sweet the and cars. those were real characters in front of the haunted mansion right that yes wasn't... those were actually okay. people and uh, they were pretty scary they were, yeah. <laughs> they were very very good so that was uh, that was definitely amazing yeah so i think missing the scenic part of it is probably the most that's why you pay the money important. to take that, the pictures and yeah. to get these memories. and it takes a lot to run it although i believe a lot of that is done by volunteers yeah, I, yeah. That organize uh, it. And a lot of the money does go to charity. So yes, that's, yes, that is. We, we forgot to yep. say that. Charity is a yep. big part of Disney. Um, yep. And, you know, they, they do a, a lot for charity as well. All right. So does that get you interested in running? No. No, I'll just watch everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the uh, it's like the Boston Marathon that just happened. Good job, guys. Yeah. If you qualified for it, it's a fantastic achievement. It's uh, It might get me running. Um but uh, I'll I'll go for the first two weeks. After uh, you I'll watch run it. to go get coffee for us. <laughs> uh, that that sounds about right. But thank you so much for watching again. Again, we apologize on Monday, but we want to make sure we did it right and you actually saw the slideshow. So hopefully you saw it. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into our mom and son show or the mom joke of the day. Thank you. If you missed it on Monday. It's not the same. Sorry. Yeah. But you got lucky with an extra joke on Monday. So actually, maybe we'll give a, a special prize if you remember that joke and you put it down below in the comment section. We'll send <laughs> you a prize. Do I get the prize? Because I don't remember it. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What does the last runner in a race eat? What does the last runner in the race eat? Or what should he eat? I don't know. Ketchup. Ketchup. You get it? Oh my, yeah, you got to catch up to somebody in front of there you. There you go. There you go. Good. Catch up. But do you eat, do you eat ketchup or do, do you, you drink, drink it? it? Do you eat it or do you drink it? I eat it. I don't you know. You eat ketchup? Yeah. It's a liquid. You put it on your hamburger. You put it on your hot dog. You put it on whatever. Oh, well, now you're talking about it. Oh, we don't have time for this discussion. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> I'm the mom. And I'm the son. And this is the mom and son show. <laughs>